When last did you actually sit down to write a letter? In the Bible, found in 1 Timothy chapter 3, Paul says, these things I write to you. He was writing them a letter. Quite a bit of the Bible is made up of letters, epistles we call them. Recently, it was noted in Newsweek that the art of letter writing has virtually disappeared. And they said that perhaps we'll get to the time when people will refer to our era, not so much as divided between before Christ and after Christ, but by before letter writing and after letter writing. Maybe that's a little far-fetched. But when you think of how much information through history has been obtained of people through the letters they've written, the personal insights, the personal observances that they've had, where the perspective is shown through the letters that they've written to their friends. Historians obtained that, and that became history. Well, in our day of Facebook and email and texting, we tend to just send snippets of messages, I'm not sitting down and writing a letter. Well, you know, somebody said, why don't you just send me your emails, and I'll transcribe them. His name is Ivan Cash. You can go to a website where he invites you to just send him your emails. And he will sit down and laboriously write it out with a pen. And then if you give him the address, he'll send it off with a stamp on it and charge you just for the stamp. It became so popular that he had to ask all his patrons to just stop for a while so he can catch up. And then he was asking for people to help him as he wrote those letters. It seems like there still is a desire within us to write a letter. Do you know that God has written a letter to you? It's a love letter. It's a very personal letter. It's kind of long, so you can take time in reading it bit by bit every day, and that's the Bible. It is God expressing to you His love. And He uses stories. He uses parables. He uses instruction. And many times, He just says it outright. I love you. I care about you. I've called you by your name. You are on my heart. You belong to me. The language that tells us that God really cares about us. Read his love letter and then talk to him back about it. Thank him for it. Receive it and then live it. And make God's letter writing your way of living. If you'd like to know more about the Fletcher Seventh-day Adventist Church, go to our website, www.fletchersda.org. In our church, our purpose is to lift Jesus up and to love people in. Thank you for watching.